a quick look at my row. Uh, boy, oh boy, I've been telling everybody since way back here, 9-5, to get in this thing. On the pullback on that wave one, or on wave two, I apologize. Right inside here. All right, a few videos ago, I said get in on the 618 pullback. Whoops. All right, this thing ended up heading uh, right to the 702. That 618 was right there. You're about 96, 95, right around there. And this thing has just exploded. And if you ran along on this thing, wow, you did great. <laughs> wow. Uh, 10x, uh, you would have, uh, on a, yeah, a 10x, you would have 5x your money. Uh, on a 20x, um, uh, you would have 10x uh, your money. Wow. Yeah. That's the thing. You can make some really nice money uh, long and shorting, that's for sure. Uh, we've been trying to hit it today over in the Discord there. Looking at a bonk trade now. If you're interested, sign up for a level three membership, guys, and uh, and come join us. We've got a, over 200 people in there, so we'd love to have you. Looks like Myro is doing a five wave up here. You can clearly see the one, two, three. The question is, is it done here yet or not? Okay, for a fourth wave pullback, and then another another wave up here. This thing keeps inching up further and further. Looks like it's running out of steam though. On a 12 hour here, you can see these long wicks on the top. All right, um, they're just, uh, looks like it's just losing some steam. All right, no bearish divergence down here at all on the 12 hour. 12 hour is maxed out at 100 and 100. The eight hour, uh, no bearish divergence. Um, it's actually bearish, a 77 and an 81. 4 hour uh, still coming down at 12 and a 25 uh, you get that high and lower high no bearish divergences here and the 1 hour uh, you do it do have uh, let's see here you have this high then you have a lower high yeah you have bearish divergence on the 1 hour you can actually see a trend line down through there too on this thing look at that right down through here Looks like it's just about getting ready to hit it again. Yeah, they got the one hour turning up here, so could get another uh, another break in here. You can see on the one hour, you can actually see five waves in there. So is this thing? Uh, let's measure that out. One six one eight would have been a target pretty darn close. Huh? We'll have to see here. Kind of. Uh, let's see. They kind of got a flag or uh, something going on up in here. Something like that, maybe. You know, definitely wedging up in here for sure for a move. Might get one more blast out of here on this thing. It's hard to tell. It just keeps running and running here. But uh, your bigger RSIs are, are getting gassed out here. You know, these long wicks on this thing. So possibly, possibly a little bit higher. Uh, before you get a fourth wave, put a Fibonacci on here. Measure, you know, put a, see what a Fib says. Get that off there. You know, up to 18.8. All right, let's see what a trend-based Fib says. Let's pull it out and take a look. Trend-based Fib. We're not going to use them long wicks. All right, we're just going to stick with. Uh, solid stuff here. Wow, about the same. 18.4. So, you know, probably would have been 18.8 if I would have pulled it down here. That uh, would have been a little bit higher. 18.4, 18.8. You know, there you go. I mean, this this thing is definitely, and and that's all. You know, you're gonna have uh, this third wave. You know, might push a little bit higher. Um, there'll be five waves in it, and then your fourth wave will be an ABC, and your fifth wave will have five waves in it. So, uh, you could get a little bit more more gas out of this thing. All right, uh, take a look here. Let's look at the one hour. Yeah, that high, that low, a lower high, lower low. But but this is wedging up, and it's just looking like it wants to bust out again to me especially with that one hour. Now, if we go out on the higher time frames and see what's going on here, you got the daily RSI still heading up. 
do. It really is. Still got room on the bottom to go up too. I mean, it's only uh, where is it? At a 55. You know, it still has some room to go um, on your three day and your five day and your weekly. Your three day has just turned up. Man, I knew this was going to be a good one to grab. Yeah, the five day looks fantastic. The weekly just starting up. Uh, yeah, my my bro's got a, a, a big run coming, guys. No question about it. You know, if you put a fib on here and look at, uh, you know, if it pulls through with this uh, with this bull run and it ends up busting back out of here and heading up the top, you know, the target for this on a 4.236 is a buck sixty. Can it hit that? Well, I seen Cardano and Polygon uh, do it last time from four cents and two cents. They go to three bucks. I've seen Gala Games. Uh, do she's what a thousand X it was a lot so anything is possible in this market I mean this thing has hit a bottom and it's it's just getting ready to tear right so we'll keep an eye on it could push a little hurt further up up into the 18s it looks like this first move is going to be 18 cent range all right thank you so much guys I'll talk to you very soon